Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Kashmir Food Fusion. Click on the subscribe button here to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon button to remain updated. Today we are going to show you how to make paneer parathas at home. The paratha recipe that we have shown is yet again a very simple one and you can easily cook it, anyone can cook it at home. These parathas were mostly popular in Punjab but now it's popular all over India. A paratha can be eaten with ghee butter but it tastes best with pickles or curd, tea as well. So try this recipe and let us know if you like it or not. Now let's start with the ingredients. We use 2 cups of whole wheat flour or atta then we use 100 grams of cottage cheese or paneer then we use a cup of freshly chopped coriander leaves one onion chopped then we have used salt according to your taste and i've used two green chilies and chopped them one teaspoon of chaat masala powder one teaspoon of turmeric and one teaspoon of red chili powder first of all with your clean hands you have to knead the dough so i'm adding water and kneading it you can knead it in a food processor if you want. So after kneading the dough, we'll keep it aside for about 3 minutes minimum or you can keep it overnight according to your own wish. So now I've kneaded the dough and I'll keep it aside. Until then I'll make the filling. So with your washed hands, you have to mash this cottage cheese or paneer. So you have to mash it properly. Now I will add the chopped onions. You can add the onions according to your own taste. If you want a lot of them, you can add more. If you want little, you can add less. Salt, you can yet again add according to your own taste. Then I'm adding the spices. You can add other spices like um, chow powder as well. And now here I'm adding the um, green chilies. The coriander leaves also go. And now I will mix them well. So now let's start. First of all, I'll pinch out a big ball out of this dough and I'll make two small balls of this dough. So here you can see. Now I'm uh, flattening these balls and you can flatten them with the rolling pin. So after flattening the balls, I'm keeping the, it aside, the chapatis aside. And now you can see that after making a round chapati, I will put the filling in between it. In I'll put the filling here and then cover the chapati with another one. So the filling comes in between two, cha two, two chapatis and that's where it's a paratha. So here you can see that I have put the filling generously on the chapati and now I will cover it with another one and a paratha is done. So this is the way to make it. So give it a flip and you can flatten it again with a rolling pin. There's no need but you can if you want to flatten it. So now when a pan is really hot, you don't have to put it on a cold pan. Remember this, when a pan is really hot, put the paratha on it. And now add some hot ghee or oil or butter according to your own choice. And then when the uh, paratha is a little bit done on the first side, we'll flip it. Please be careful not to spill the oil because it will be really hot at this point. So after flipping it, now we will keep on flipping it and cooking it on each side. So you can see that the paratha is getting done. It's frying on each side. So I'm again giving it a flip. I like a bit crunchier paratha, so I cook it well. You can add the stuffing. I'm showing you how to make paneer parathas, but you can literally make any paratha you want. You can add whatever stuffing you add at home. So you can make a lot of dishes or varieties of this simple recipe so I'm again giving it a flip and I'm cooking the edges 
and now when it's done we will take it out on a plate and serve it hot with curd or tea or butter like I said so I'm serving it out with tea thank you for watching this video please try this recipe and subscribe to our channel